I'm going to start in the light of dip, so I've got a little bit of um, solvent on the brush. And if you look at this as a, it's like a step up from an imprimatur. So the two different formats, I'm unsure whether to go like, for example, four foot by two foot or four foot by maybe, you know, two and a half or three foot. So this is a little experiment also for me as to what format to go for. I, I'm leaning towards this size. So let's just roughly map out. This is going to be the light. Now, the actual um, horizon line is going to be around about here. And there's going to be a distant tree line coming down along this area. So let's just put the light shape in. I want a little bit of light coming in here. Not a great deal. Okay, I'm going to put the, um, some dark uh, areas in, and it's, I'm going to put it into I'm going to this very dark green here, which I'm just looking at putting into a little bit of black into that. And I want to reduce the chroma a bit, so I'm going to pop some uh, alizarin crimson in. The other good point about doing something like this is, is that it, it's a practice painting. Hey right, guys, if you're going to spend 100 quid on a canvas, 120, maybe 160 pounds on a canvas, you do not want to be running the risk of it not being quite the right choice. So colours, so you don't want to be messing around, wasting your time doing it. So these sketches really help you save time in the long run. And it familiarises yourself with your image um, so that you'll go, ah oh, yeah, remember that. That was a bit tricky last time, okay, or this is how I did that, or, or whatever it is. Um, it really does help you. But it, I can't begin to stress enough the benefit of the freedom it gives you to just go and have some fun. I don't have to worry about how am I getting it right. A little bit dark in here. This is actually black. I'm just interested in getting the value in more than anything. See the brush, it just kind of danced across. That was it. I'm kind of worrying about anything. No detail, please, as such. You don't need it. Very different, very, very different layout. So I've got to decide where the horizon is because I think I'm going to push up into the sky, which means I'll probably leave a similar. Um, let's do that. Similar horizon line. So it's going to be around about. Um, and let's bring that across slightly more. Here we go. Bit of turps on that. I'm using just ordinary solvent, just just the, not ordinary, but the low odor solvent. Same as before. Let's just map this down. Bit of terps will just spread that colour to give it a tonal value. I'll use it in solvent purely and simply to increase the flow of the paint and also quick drying. Now we've got some orange to stick on, so let's go to the orange brush. The autumn leaves. These, I'd always recommend do sketches like this because it's just such good fun. And you end up with a little painting at the end of the day. But also, like I said, the main reason is to test out your colours to get a feel for are they what you want? Is that the feel of the painting you want to do? Fundamentally, it's the light. I'm going to 
pop in and that continues around and down here we haven't put the trees in yet don't worry we'll go can we get a can you see the very two different feels that these two paintings are giving you already that's that's really kind of interesting two paintings done more sky to the bottom one obviously it's kind of varied a little bit on the bottom but generally speaking similar enough images and the decision now is to which one to produce what size.